Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are continuing uh, the problems related to clocks. In the last session, we already started the problems related to clocks. Uh, let's continue the last session. See here. The question is, uh, the angle between minutes hand and hours hand of a clock, uh, when the time is 8.30, when the time is 8.30, what is the angle between minutes hand and hours hand? That is the question he is asking. So, without using any formulas, anything, uh, let us take hours hand separately and minutes hand separately. Exactly at 8 o'clock. First, take the exact value. Exactly at 8 o'clock, hours hand will cover uh, 8 into 30. Why? Because for every 1 hour, our hand will cover 30 degrees. Uh, whereas, uh, uh, for 8 hours, that is 8 into 30. And next, uh, exactly at 8 o'clock, minute sand is uh, 0 degrees. It covers 0 degrees. Why? Because uh, it doesn't start from 12. Exactly at 8 o'clock, uh, minute sand is uh, at 12 position. So, it doesn't move not even a single degree. So, it is 0 degrees. Next, uh, for the next 30 minutes, for the next 30 minutes, uh, here for every 1 minute, our hand will cover half degree. So, in 30 minutes, 30 into half degrees. Whereas coming to minutes and uh, for every 1 minute, it covers 6 degrees. Uh, likewise, we have 30 minutes, 30 into 6, uh, which is equal to here the product of these two, 8 and 30. 8 and 30, which is equal to 240 plus. Here you can cancel with two table, 215, uh, 15, which is equal to 255 degrees. Whereas coming to this one, 0 plus 30 into 6, that is 180. 0 plus 180, that is 180. So, the question what he is asking is, uh, the angle between the minute sand and hour sand, angle between minute sand and hour sand, which is nothing but uh, difference between uh, hour sand and minute sand, 255 and uh, 180. The difference between those two is 75 degrees. Difference between those two is 75 degrees. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Let's move on to the next question. See here, the angle between the minutes hand and hours hand. Here also same thing. Angle between minutes hand and hours hand of a clock when the time is 420. Here the time is given as 420. 4 hours, 20 minutes. Let us take uh, hours and and minutes and separately. Initially, exactly at 4 o'clock. Exactly at 4 o'clock, minutes and is 0 degrees. That is at 12 position. So, it doesn't move not even a single degree. Whereas, coming to hours and uh, for every 1 hour, it covers 30 degrees. Likewise, 4 hours are there. So, 4 into 30. Next. After that, for the remaining 20 minutes, for the remaining 20 minutes, our sun will move half degree for every 1 minute. Half degree for every 1 minute. Likewise, 20 minutes are there. 20 into half degree. And whereas coming to minutes and it covers 6 degrees for every 1 minute. 6 degrees for every 1 minute. Likewise, we have 20 minutes. 20 into 6, which is equal to here you can cancel with two table. 4 into 30, that is 120 plus 10. 120 plus 10, which is equal to 130 degrees. Whereas, uh, 0 plus uh, 26, uh, 120. 26, uh, 120, which is equal to 120 degrees. Now, you have to take the difference between uh, hours and and minutes and 130 and 120, the difference between those two is 10 degrees. Difference between those two is 10 degrees. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B, 10 degrees. Let's move on to the next question. At what angle, at what angle, the hands of a clock are inclined at 15 minutes past 5 o'clock, 15 minutes past 5 o'clock in the sense the time is 5.15. 5.15, 5 
5.15. The time is 5.15. Now the question what he is asking is uh, at what angle will the hands of a clock? Hands of a clock in the sense we need to find the angle between minutes and end. Uh, our sand. Take our sand and minute sand separately. First, uh, exactly at 5 o'clock. Exactly at 5 o'clock. Uh, minute sand is obviously 0 degrees. Uh, guys, always keep that in mind. Uh, exact time period. When you are taking the exact time period, whether it is 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 12, whatever the exact time, minute sand is always 0. Why? Because uh, for every exact time period, minute sand is uh, at uh, 12th position only, at 12 only. So that it doesn't move not even a single degree. That is the reason why it is always uh, 0 degrees. Whereas coming to our sand, whereas coming to our sand, for 5 hours, for 5 hours, our sand will move 5 into 30 degrees. Why? Because uh, for every 1 hour, our hand will move 30 degrees. Uh, for 5 hours, uh, our sand will cover 5 into 30. Next, after that, uh, still we have uh, left over with 15 minutes. Uh, here, our hand will cover half degree for every 1 minute. Likewise, 15, de uh, 15 minutes are there. So, it is 15 into half. And next, uh, for this one, 15 into minutes and uh, will cover 6 degrees for every 1 minute. Uh, so, 15 into 6. Now, you can take these two. Here it is 5 into 30. That is 150 plus 150 plus. Here it is 15 by 2 which is nothing but 7.5. So, this entire value is equal to 157.5. And whereas coming to this value 0 plus 15 6. 15 6 the value is 90. So, this value is 90. Now, you can subtract these two. 0 point, uh, 0.5 and here it is 7 and this is 6. 67.5 which is nothing but uh, 67 1 by 2. Option C is the right answer. You can also write uh, 67.5 as uh, 67 half degree. 67 1 by 2 degrees. So you can also represent in this way. 67.5 or else 67 1 by 2 degrees both are same. So here the answer is option C. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.